Hello everyone. Today I'd like to help you to formulate a strategy for coping with the 10 mark essay style questions that you're going to face in your exam. These questions tend to be problematic, firstly because they carry a lot of marks, and secondly because it's very difficult, and let's be honest, it's quite stressful to have to write longer essay style answers under examination conditions when you're under pressure. What I can't do today is give you a magic formula that'll work for every question that will come up in the exam. However, I can share with you a method that should ensure that you don't miss anything and that you answer the question as fully as your subject knowledge allows. Before we look at the question and then answer it, I want to give you a few golden rules that you must follow. Rule number one, plan your answer thoroughly before you start. Rule number two, for the first five to seven minutes, you should be planning. And that means you're going to spend half your allocated time planning your answer. Some of you may have noticed that rule number one and rule number two are exactly the same. Why is that? The answer is simple. Students feel anxious about these questions, and this leads them to start writing the moment they've read the question once. And this results in them not understanding everything that the question's asking, and therefore not answering the question fully and losing lots of marks as a result. Let's talk numbers for a moment. For a 10 mark question, you can allow yourself about 12 minutes to complete that question. That means that you've got time to complete the following stages. Stage one, read the question through once. Stage two, read the question a second time, this time highlighting the key points. Stage three, on your third reading, pull out the areas that you're going to discuss, those key areas. Then stage four, look at these key areas and think about how these areas apply to the problem that's being described, the scenario in the question. Stage five, make some notes on the way in which you can address these areas to answer the question. So let's now have a look at a specific question and try and apply these principles. This is a past paper question from paper one. Start the clock. Amec Leisure runs leisure centres throughout the country providing a variety of facilities. It has a website where customers can register to use a fitness gym's facilities and create a personal profile to store training programmes and track their progress. Customers can also link their social media account to their profile to share their training information with friends. The leisure centres feature the latest fitness technology, including connected fitness equipment that automatically uploads workout information to the customer's personal profile. Amec Leisure's IT staff are responsible for the maintenance of the connected fitness equipment as well as the company's computer systems. When maintaining the connected fitness equipment, IT staff use a set of standard operating procedures. Stop the clock. Let's have a look at the question now. Start the clock. Discuss the use of wireless technologies for uploading data to and from the connected fitness equipment. Stop the clock. So what does all this start the clock, stop the clock nonsense? I'm making a point. The point is you've used 55 seconds of your seven minute planning time, one seventh of your time. So it kind of illustrates that you do need to front load this and spend some time genuinely engaging with the question if you want to access the higher the higher tier of marks. So what's difficult about these questions isn't isn't just uh, formulating the answer, but it's also trying to figure out where the where the question actually lies. Now, in this instance, the question itself actually asks you and tells you pretty much everything that you need to know. Sometimes you've got to look all the way through the scenario and pick some nuggets out of there. But in this case, the question tells us a lot. Let's go on to stage two, because I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go to stage two and highlight the key areas that we're going to pull out to try to answer this question. Start the clock. So let's dig in and have a look at the question. First of all, it says discuss. And that means we're talking about pros and cons which is always handy to know. Wireless technologies, yeah, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Uploading data to, so we've got uploading to and from, two separate things. And then that notion of connected fitness equipment. Quite a lot in there already. Quick scan through the actual scenario. Ooh, Amec Leisure, we're not that interested about them. And Leisure centers, that's just uh, fluff. 
a website. We don't need to talk about the website particularly. Create a personal profile. Um, let's have a look. Um, we've then got this idea of tracking progress. We know that's important. And the training programs are tracking process. Maybe social media accounts is relevant. What else have we got? Um, this idea of the leisure centers feature the latest fitness technology. We know about this connected equipment. That's fine. And then we've also got this. This is this is could be useful about this IT staff are responsible for the maintenance of the. Uh, let's just go back and highlight that. This one here. Because when we think about maintenance, we're not just talking about nuts and bolts and sort of replacing bits of the equipment. That could be installing patches to update it as well. So we might want to talk about that. We've got this SOP thing here. That's not relevant. And then that relates to the next question. So actually, we've got a couple of things in there. Plus, mainly the question tells us exactly what it wants us to do. Stop the clock. Let's go ahead and extract the information. Start the clock. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, those are our key areas of focus in this question. Notice that word discuss, which means, or it should say to you, that you can talk about the pros and the cons, the advantages and disadvantages for both of these. If we're talking about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, we're talking about wireless, perhaps we should also consider the alternative, which would be wired. And that would again give us a chance, thinking about discussion, to talk about the benefits and the drawbacks of wired versus wireless. I like this idea of talking about patching. Uh, and we could talk about the different uses. So the uses of Wi-Fi and the uses of Bluetooth. And I think that's probably the important elements extracted. Stop the clock. Let's just recap. You've read the question, you've highlighted the salient details, and you've now extracted them. For this next phase, we're going to move away from the question paper altogether and focus on building your answer. And this is where the magic happens, really. But you've got, you've got the ingredients now on your page. Before we go there, I want to focus on the three key areas that you need to remember. First of all, your subject knowledge. You bring that to the exam. Secondly, the question. You have to answer the question. They don't simply want facts on Bluetooth. They want you to answer the question. And how do you answer the question? You answer it by A, answering it. And the third element is responding to the scenario. So it's being able to use the scenario to actually formulate your answer, which in this case is talking about it in terms of fitness equipment and, uh, and a leisure club. All right. So that's the important thing. Those three things show your knowledge, but show that you can answer the question that they've actually posed. And thirdly, related to the scenario. That's what this is all about. So let's now have a look at uh, the particular scenario and think about how what we've already pulled out from this uh, from this question we can use um, to try to to try to relate it to the scenario. Start the clock. We talked about Wi-Fi, and we know that with the Wi-Fi we're going to talk about uh, updating the equipment. So let's go back. I've deleted that there, so we can talk about updating the equipment. Secondly, the Bluetooth, we're going to talk about sensors. And this is where we start to think about how you would be, uh, how you would behave in a gym. You would be wearing some kind of a device. So, for example, this kind of thing here. Don't forget, don't talk about Apple Watches. Don't talk about Garmin's. Talk about sensors. That's what they're looking for. Sensors. That's what sits inside each of these devices is a sensor. So we'll think about how these sensors relate to transmitting data to the machine, the fitness machine, whether it's a, a, a treadmill or a, or a cycling machine, doesn't matter. Then that information, that data is going to be sent via Wi-Fi, I'm guessing, to the server, to the, the leisure center server, which can then send it out to your phone or to your website or whatever. 
So you've got Bluetooth for all the near stuff, and then you've got the Wi-Fi for all the further away stuff. And we can talk about how there are advantages and disadvantages in the context of a gym. So you know I talked about uh, wired there. Wires, cables in a gym would be a disaster. People would fall over, break their noses, they'd take you to court. That wouldn't be good. Equally, if you have wires, they can break. It also means you've got to drill holes through walls and wreck the fabric of the building. That's not great. Therefore, we can discuss at the early stages the advantages of going for a wireless approach. That's the general. So can you see a pattern here? We're going from general to specific. So we can talk about the, the advantages of going wireless. We then delve into Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and we talk about the uses of them. The Wi-Fi is going to be for carrying the data across the greater distances, moving the data from the machines to the server, which can then serve up data for websites and phones and whatever else. We've got the Bluetooth, which will pick up the heartbeat picked up by a sensor that you're wearing around your middle or on your watch, or indeed uh, from any, any sensor that you could wear. And that would then be served to the machine, be sent to the machine, and the machine would then, the fitness machine that is, would then move it on to, uh, via Wi-Fi to, to the server. There's a lot to talk about there. Now you've managed to take your knowledge about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and Bluetooth, shorter range, Wi-Fi, longer range, security. This course has got a lot to do with security. Bluetooth, quite secure, Wi-Fi, not so secure. How could you make it more secure? You could encrypt it. And suddenly, all of those thoughts flying around in your head, I've not written them down, that's for you to do, that would give you enough to build a really good answer to this essay. Stop the clock. And so we reach the end of our journey. Before I leave you, I want to tease out one or two more principles. You have the mark scheme in front of you that you can look at at your own leisure, but I want to pull or draw your attention to this point here where it says, there is a well-developed line of reasoning. To me, that says, tell a story, beginning, middle and end. Go from the general to the specific. It's that simple. You are creating a little short story. Next, look at this part here where it says subject specific terminology. Make sure that you are sounding like you actually know what things are. And that means going away and doing a bit of last minute cramming on your terminology because it does really matter and it stands out like a sore thumb if you haven't learned the right words to describe things. You can see that we covered most of what's in the mark scheme here, and I'll let you go through that. But I would draw your attention to this. Any other valid suggestion? So there is, there are right and wrong answers, but you can draw on your entire knowledge. I mentioned patching. It wasn't in the mark scheme, but it was still a good answer. So think about all of your knowledge and how you can bring it into the mark scheme. Have you given the pros? Have you given the cons? Have you thought about all the different ways that a certain, a certain feature, a certain characteristic, a certain technology can be used? Good luck in your exams, guys.